Established in the year 1961, the Department of Parks and Gardening is responsible for the development of the nation's landscape and the preservation of beautification of the environment. It has branches in Ibri, Kumase, Tema, Tamale, Cape Coast, Takrade, Kofurija, and Wa. Its core functions are to promote landscape beautification of built and natural environment and collaborate with MMDAs to develop programs for floral beautification of cities and towns, acquire land to establish public parks and promote ecotourism to generate revenue for assemblies and jobs for the youth. Pursue actions to combat the effect of global warming by promoting a national tree planting campaign involving all stakeholders. Collaborate with the Botany Department of the University of Ghana and other stakeholders to document the country's flora to develop and maintain a national information facility for sharing digital biodiversity data. Initiate programs to identify threatened economic and ornamental plants for multiplication and conservation. In addition, the department will promote public education on their conservation and importance of plants for human survival. Concentrate on the conservation of threatened plants and restoration of plant diversity, as well as communicating its importance under the Global Strategy for Plants Conservation Program. However, it appears those tasks to ensure the achievement of these goals are rather campaigning against them. Instead of improving and building on what we have, managers are now selling the lands and trees for other purposes. News about the clearing of portions of the head office land here in Accra prompted this reporter into action. At least, what appeared to be one third of the entire head office land had been cleared. There are blocks, stone chippings, and sand are already on site, confirming the intended purpose. Even trees on portions not yet cleared are being logged. There are two streams here. We were told lands beyond the northern stream and southern stream have been sold according to our information. This left only the mid-session which houses the head office administration block and puts the future of the 100 employees in the balance. The director came, four directors, I mean the four directors from here. Nobody sold this land. We are family men. This job we are doing, we are being take, take care of the children, pay school fee, etc, etc. If this department be long. Me too, I'm a family man. If my children complete school, they have been problem there. He is so lean. What are we sending here to go? So, in fact, they think behaving for us. So, please, we are appealing to the authority to do something about this thing. This parcel of land was cleared somewhere in March this year, according to our information. It took a protest from workers to halt work on the land and further distractions to the environment, albeit temporarily. Workers who spoke on anonymity said his nearly four years as director, Ni Ishmael A.J. Brown, has ruined the department and its vegetation cover. They say the core functions of the department have been neglected as activities have been poorly managed. This plant house is a typical example. According to the workers, wrong materials were used to roof the house, hence plants could not grow in it. It is unclear as to what motivated the decision to sell the land for private infrastructure development. Director of Facility, Ni Ishmael J. Brown, responded to a phone call but asked the news team to seek clarification from the Chief Director of Local Government and Rural Development Ministry. Unless swift and pragmatic steps are taken, this beautiful and serene environment will be no more. TV3 will follow up and update you on this development.